Hello everybody and welcome to the Grego Zaro Gaming Channel. This is Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're doing a first look at the game. We're going to check it out and see what the, uh, the intro part is. This will be the beginning of the series. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. Wenceslas. That's, that's a tough name to pronounce. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's armies. It is here that my story begins. Okay, well we have a little background as to what is going on now. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna start a new game. We're actually going to overwrite. Uh, I did start a game, uh, did about a five minute recording segment to make sure everything was going to work out good because uh, uh, it is pretty taxing on my CPU. So I wanted to make certain that uh, it wasn't going to be any, any issues. So we're going to overwrite that. And here we go. Beautiful landscape. And I'll see the little rabbit down there. This landscape is amazing. There we have it, Kingdom Come Deliverance, 1403. We're supposed to be starting as the son of a blacksmith. Uh, Henry, I believe, is the name. So naturally, the uh, the riches and uh, things of the town uh, will not be ours at the time. I believe that's mother. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need Henry. him to run some errands. Yes, it is Henry. He was sleeping when I went out. At this hour, blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Yep, 
That's me. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up. Nope. <laughs> Clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. I did not see that one coming. Henry! Hmm? Get up now. What? There's work to be done. Work? Aww. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Yep. Hear that? Time to get up. You better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Mm -mm. Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, <laughs> just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. I hate it when you have to get on your children about sword fighting. Quest started. Unexpected visit. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Hmm. We were chatting in the tavern. I was dancing. Agility. I was with Bianca. Vitality. I was working in the forward strength. Hmm. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. Wow, without limitations. Interesting. Okay, um, I like to be a smooth talker, so we were chatting in the tavern. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me, and it's connected with that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Okay, we gained a level in speech, and then it said we gained a main level. Uh after that last dialogue so let's see what we got here oh why would i be interested in sword fighting speech well we've already taken speech once so uh uh matthias was teaching me archery agility i was with bianca vitality uh what does it matter strength so well we could probably use some strength since we're so gonna I'm be into sword fight and what of it what harm does it do at least i'll be able to defend myself god above hal you know how your father will react when he finds out. Maybe you'll make a new sword. What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it then. I can't stop you. And you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Don't come to me when somebody cuts your head off, young man. <laughs> All right. Have my friends been here? Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Oh. I'll leave it be, Mother. You're misjudging them. My friends aren't drunks, and I don't want to talk about that. Hmm. My friends aren't drunks. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them... I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I'd have snuck out. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Yeah, obviously, he's still not much of an angel considering what... Yeah, anyway. Uh, give me an example. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man. And it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. But I don't want to adult. If you yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief-making so much. 
Okay, uh, is Pa angry at me? Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratsik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. Of course we will. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Uh, let's see. I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Well enough. Do you need any help? Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay, well, I think we can take care of that then. We'll end the dialogue here. All right, and we have the moving around using the WASD keys. You can also sprint with the left shift, jump with the space, and walk with um, caps lock. Uh, you can interact with the world using E. So, let's go on the table here and check out the food that she made us. So, we have cheese. So, we'll pick that up with E. Okay, that's nice. All right, let's check our inventory. Okay, we have cheese, door keys, a green shirt that I uh, assume, yes, is equipped. Okay, old boots, red scarf, tight olive hose, and trunk keys. No weapons. Okay. Let's see. This is our helmet slot, coif, neck chain. Head chain, uh, off hand, main hand, arrows, bow, ring, spurs, leg plate, leg chain, gloves, arm armor, body chain mail, body plate. So we have a lot of slots uh, for different things. Main level is one. Okay, these are our stats, body or armor, uh, leg plate, health, energy, nourishment. Nourishment, 40, okay. So we do have to eat, obviously. Strength two, speech two. So we got our plus ones there. Charisma seven. Speed 17. Noise 44. All right, we have a visibility and a conspic. I figure that's conspicuous, whether they can figure you out or find you or something, I don't know. Okay. We have a Kodak. Uh, codex with animal husbandry, carts, wagons, uh, farming, uh, foreigners, furniture, greetings, guilds and crafts, all kinds of goodies, uh, locations, events, society, characters, uh, tutorials. Nice. Okay. We'll look at the tutorials after we play the game. <laughs> okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Combat, skills. Wow, we have a lot of different skills. Um, unarmed combat, bow, mace, warfare, defense, sword. Uh, buffs, hunger. Okay, that's a debuff. I was going to say, uh, hunger's not a buff. Okay, reputation, 100. With... Skalitz, I believe is how that would be pronounced. Uh, I assume that's our hometown here. And statistics, general, combat, crime, quest. Okay, interesting, interesting. Quest log. Uh, let's see, we finally got some fine spring weather. But still, I slept late in the morning because I was out celebrating until late in the evening. No, we wasn't. We were talking, remember. Uh, it was a bit hard getting out of bed in the morning. I have to go to Father. I promised I'd help him with his work. Started getting some training and sword fighting from a mercenary who, tuned up, who turned up recently. Uh, father and Mother mustn't find out. For some reason, they don't want me to learn to defend myself. Uh, got a bit of a cut. Supposed to meet up at the Ale House again today. Okay. So, why don't we go ahead and uh, hop on out here. 
and we'll go catch up with Pop and see what he's got going. Uh, we've got some food here. Let's try eating from the pot and see what we got. What did that do for us? Okay, it removed our debuff because we were hungry before. Good enough, good enough. Okay, we'll figure all that out later. For now, let's go check out Pop. I discovered grindstone. Let's see. We our movement. Okay. Caps lock. That's walking. That's a little faster speed, and then that's running. Okay. So we actually have three different speeds: walking, running, and I assume sprinting. I said I need help. Okay. Well. That's what I'm here for, Pop. At least you're up. That's a start. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Ouch. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. Dandy. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make I was sure pronouncing Bianca it right. draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. All right. Hmm. I bag of charcoal the market, let the debt. I pick up the cross guard. And there was something else there. And buy ill at the tavern. And go to the sword fighting lesson. Okay, so first things first. We are right here. So we'll go ahead and pick this up. How's it going, buddy? Got be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Lovely. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <laughs> Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. <laughs> right away, your lordship. Eh, just give me the daggum thing. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, oh, I better go over to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Cross guard for the new sword. Okay. So, we completed that quest. Let's check our map. Collect the debt. Collect the debt, buy a bag of charcoal at the market, and buy ale at the tavern. And there's another one hid in behind there. That's probably going to be our quest for the sword fight. All right, well, let's start with the closest one. This game has some awesome graphics. It is amazing. And the sound detail is, is pretty amazing, too. Flies. Horses. 
All right. Not sure who this gentleman is, but we'll stay out of his way. You can find all the information about the quest in the J log. Uh, for clarity, they're also indicated on the map as well. M for map. Uh, compass at the top of the screen. He discovered a charcoal burner. Okay, well, I assume the guy that we need to collect from is right around in here somewhere. Kind of running in a circle. Okay, is that you? Yep, that's him. What do you have to say for yourself? You, what do you want? Money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Hmm. Pay the lot or else. You'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. <laughs> I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man oh. will be pulling those nails out of you. Hmm. Sometimes you need power of persuasion to achieve your goals when talking to people. You can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment uh, with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference of how people respond to you. Okay, the first two don't sound like we're going to get very far. Uh, if you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more, more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the uh, deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. Okay, probably, yeah, not much there because we look kind of weak right now. Uh, you can sometimes rely on money. Uh, we don't have any money, so. Uh, this works the same way as shopping, see trade and haggling. In special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills. For example, horsemanship. I'm not sure how that would play a role, but it'll be interesting to find out. It's not only the matter of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer. But sometimes it's not enough to just choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what Henry is going to say. Okay. Different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily. And no matter how well you dress, you won't impress a nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned to a universal value, but compared to the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you. If it's someone you know well, or if you're skilled at reading people, learned uh, the perk empathetic. Okay, your money, uh, the amount you have to pay. Uh, let's see. I guess that's for bribery. Uh, total speech skill required. Total charisma skill. Total strength skill. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Total speech skill level. Charisma skill level and strength skill level. Or uh, along the top. Uh, the counterparts are at the bottom, I do believe. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's not just about stats, though. The outcome is influenced by other factors. Okay, we already caught that in the earlier okay so we see right now we have a 65 uh, influence with him which is probably not great uh, speech two. Uh, for his strength goes three and, and I think that was charisma maybe was seven uh, so the only two that we have is speech and uh, roughing them up there but we have no weaponry or anything to make I mean we have a higher level skill but that doesn't seem like it's gonna work but we'll try it I must have misheard you it sounded like you just told me to clear off but you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal not pay your debts and then try to scare me would you you son of a whore 
How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Hey. Our first fight. Okay. Slash strong. Uh, slower strike with weapon. Hook strong. Slower hand strike to the head. Left mouse. Right mouse. Stab. Faster, weaker weapon strike. Jab. Direct hand blow to the face. F kicks. Tab locks on opponent. Switch to the next opponent. Left shift unlocks. And Q raises a block. Okay. It's the opponent. Uh, uh, health, stamina, your wounds. Indicator shows roughly how much health your opponent has left. Um, okay. Good deal. I think we got it. We're ready to die. So. <laughs> Let's close this. All we need to remember is F kicks. The mouse button's hit. Tab locks on. And Q blocks. So we're gonna lock on. Get me up already. Nope. Ow. Contact with that, we'd have been in good shape. Um. Ah. Ain't kicking me all in the face and everything else. Ah, we connected with one there. Quarter of a fix. Hmm. This could be a long fight. Ah. <laughs> I reach a new level in unarmed. That's a good thing because we're not doing very good here. If you notice, I'm I'm dodging, you know. <laughs> Warfare. Oh, nice hit. All right, get some stamina back here. Or try to. If we can keep him from killing us. Really need to put that block button somewhere different. I know. I have to have to remap that to my one of my side mouse buttons because it's kind of hard to block using the Q and still move around. Ah, come on, dude, quit that! It ain't got to be like that. Ah, how you like that? We done a little bit of damage to him that time. Got some combos going. Oh, you talk a lot of trash. Come on, buddy. Hmm. Oh. 
Reach a new level in strength. Hey, we got a good kick in there. Took long enough. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Jesus, look where you're going. <laughs> Let me slap you around a little bit more, dude. All right, we've got his keys, I think is what we ended up with. Uh, is this his house? Let's check that uh, quest and see. Um, got a key to his trunk from him. Maybe we'll have something in there worth selling. And I should take back the axe he got from father. It's in the front of the house. It's in front of his house. Okay, let's see. The axe. It's in front of his house. There it is. So we'll pick that up. I'll chop you up with it. Okay, uh, no, that's not it. That's not it. What do we got in here? No, that's not it. Okay, where is this trunk of yours? Hey, let's eat from his, uh, stew pot. I'm going to eat your food. There we go. Okay. So we've got the nails and the hammer. So we will take all. Hey, we'll have a sit down. Kind of chill out and enjoy everything here. Pretty interesting. All right, now we'll get up. All right, well, we've completed the first two quests. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the first look. So far, I'm really liking this game. I'm really liking this game. Uh, definitely. I, I, I'm loving the scenery. The... Uh, the fighting mechanics are going to take a little getting used to. Uh, that that was a little different. I'm going to have to do some research on it and see exactly how how everything works in the little star pointers. Uh, I'm assuming that's your target areas, uh, but I'm going to have to have to figure out how all that works. But uh, I'll check into that and we'll get back going later. So as always, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.